No, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> no freaking way, man. Why do these things happen to me? When have you ever seen this? Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the releasable challenge, the challenge where we play every nation new for that doesn't exist in 1444. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're spinning the wheel again because, uh, well, I can't get a game as Soyo started. Look at this clip. I got full annex. But aside from that, let's click the spin and see who we're gonna play today because, uh, yeah, like I said, I can't get the game started. And the nation that we're gonna play today in releasables instead of Soyo is the nation of Danzig. Alrighty then, back in Europe, baby. Alright, alright, here we are back in game, and Danzig is obviously a nation that can be released from the Teutonic Order at the start of the game in this province. Maybe it's just this one, maybe it's a couple of more. And uh, Danzig does pop out every game because it is a scripted event where they get, uh, you know, break free from the Teutons, get Poland support and stuff like that. And uh, Danzig ideas should be pretty good, man. We should be able to form Prussia and stuff like that, even though we're not going to be doing it. It's releasables. So, uh, I don't really know how the gameplay as Danzig would go straight from 1444. We should be able to get guys to support our independence, but uh, after that, without the scripted war versus the Teutons, I wonder how long we can survive sandwiched between the PLC and the HRE and the Kalmar Union. This is definitely going to be uh, a very, very hard game. Pain. But you know what's not going to be pain? A word from the sponsor of today's video, Clash Royale. Clash Royale is a real-time multiplayer game which features not only the Royales, but also all of your favorite Clash characters and much, much more. In Clash Royale, you can collect and also upgrade dozens of cards that feature the Clash of Clans troops along with all the spells and defenses that you know and love. But that's not all. All of your favorite Royales are in it as well, like Princes, Knights, Baby Dragons, and more. So go ahead and knock down your opponent's kings and princesses from their towers to defeat your opponents and go on to win many trophies, crowns, and most importantly, glory in the arena. Oh, and did I mention the best part? Clash Royale is free to play and it's available on Android and iOS. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or scan the QR code on your screen to download Clash Royale for free today. Thank you to Clash Royale for sponsoring today's video. Now let's jump in as Danzig. Alright, alright, here we are as the Teutonic Order, and uh, as you all know, November 11th, 1444, we just go right here, create a subject from our provinces, and release and play as Danzig. We will only get the province of Danzig. And there we go, we're Danzig. Alright, the Teutons' rivals are Denmark, uh, Lithuania, and Poland, so uh, I think it will be pretty easy breaking free from these guys. But uh, after that, where do we go, man? Can we join the HRE? We probably will be able to, but uh, unless we get some other strong allies, man, like Austria and Muscovy, where they can help us expand into the PLC and the Kalmar Union, this isn't going to be very easy at all. So yeah, let me get started by choosing a government form, which is actually going to be a bishopric. Well, I don't think we've ever played a bishopric in releasables now, have we? All right, do we go with a monastic order or a clerical state? Heirs can be generals, rulers can be generals, fix the duchy rank, religious unity affects devotion when changing religion. Sure, you know what? I don't know what a monastic order is, so let's go for it, baby. There we go. That's what's up. We can't do rural marriages, of course, but uh, that shouldn't really be a problem. All right, now let me do half of this. All right, all right, let's stay stuff halfway done. I'll uh, collect in the Baltic and transfer from Krakow to the Baltic for now. And uh, do we have any professionalism? We do actually. So I am going to be slightening that twice and starting to build up my army right here because, uh, yeah, we're going to hire merc companies anyway. We don't want to lose that professionalism. But uh, Danzig... What's this? All right, I think we got the new two... Onic missions right here, man, where basically we need to choose whether to be like a crusader horde or try and form Prussia, right? Dude, I did not know Danzig had this, but is this the best mission tree for a releasable nation? I think so, man. Danzig are ideas, trade efficiency, domestic trade power, trade steering. All right, I guess they want us to trade. Dipper relations, global trade power, manpower, merc maintenance, lightship discount, manpower recovery speed, and fort defense, and tax. All right, very trade-focused national ideas, but uh, I'm more interested in this, baby. All right, a month has ticked over. Nations that would support us are Lithuania and Poland. That's awesome. Uh, Poland is going to pew Lithuania probably. So uh, yeah, there we go. It's just Poland. But uh, are we making money right now? We actually are making quite a bit of money, man. Danzig is a really, really nice province. One of the best in Europe. Let's get this discipline guy. And uh, when I have money, I'll get more guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, Grand Army of Danzig. Fort defense and shock damage received. Nice for 25 years. Sweet. I'll take that. Awesome. All right. So truce with the Teutons has expired and I have gotten Poland and surprisingly Denmark as well to support my independence. Uh, I don't feel like getting more loans, getting the Merc company or anything like that. The Teutons are allied to Brandenburg, Stettin and the Livonians and they're supporting Sweden. But I think I should be able to sneak through over here and get into Poland. So that's why I'm not getting the 
Merc Company. But either way, let's go ahead and declare on the Teutons. Independence, good relations, they're a liege, but we can't lose more than four stabs, so um, why not go ahead and declare, huh? And uh, there we go. Let's see what happens next. Ah, oh, I got stack wiped. That's what happens next. By improving relations with Austria during this war, I am already able to join the HRE, which I am gonna do. Uh, sweet. All right, our uh, war versus our former overlord of the Teutonic Order is done. Now, what I wanted to do right here is actually take Konigsberg, Memel, and then Tuchel and Kalm. Unfortunately, Poland have occupied about half of these guys, so I can't take this province. But I'm also not going to give them that province because I don't care if these guys like me anymore. I'm in the HRE. We're safe defensively, right? I'm either going to try and ally Austria, try and ally some of these guys right here. Obviously, we can't become the emperor because we're a monastic order, but uh, that doesn't matter. What does matter is piecing out the Teutons, and I'm going to get independent just like that and then I'm gonna take Konigsberg, Memel and uh, I think I'm gonna take everything I've occupied man uh yeah I'm not giving anything to Poland so uh that's done a lot of AE ish in Poland and Denmark are gonna hate me but like I said I really don't care about that so uh yeah let's go ahead and core this up and uh we'll see where we go from there limited expansion opportunities for now we really gotta push in here but now that we're independent maybe we should get the event where we choose to you know follow along the prussia path or the monastic order path right i don't exactly know how it works i actually haven't played the teutons since uh lands of the north drop you know what i myself am gonna break the alliance with poland they do want to do it but uh i'm doing this so we can ally bohemia faster i wonder when we can choose that conquest path man uh, maybe we should own all of prussia or something like that yeah there's no like conditions to fulfill it just it just gotta pop up i think it's an event all right now what's our game plan here a is pretty high the uh, pushing into the HRE would probably trigger a coalition. Honestly, I might wait until 1461 to declare on the Livonians if they still exist. What's going on over here? Shout out Novgorod. There we go. Wait, did Muscovy lose to Novgorod? No way. Nah, they didn't lose, but they haven't fought either. You know, instead of uh, putting the merchants right here, I think I should put them in uh, Saxony and Lubeck probably to establish communities. Tier 2 got reform time. I feel like we really got to focus on uh, army stuff right here. Let's go for the external mission. Uh, I think I should ditch Denmark. Sweden's independence is supported by Poland and uh, Burgundy, so bye-bye Denmark. All right, Denmark actually just let Sweden go so I can re-ally them. Nah, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> no freaking way man why do these things happen to me when have you ever seen this yeah and denmark have allied pomerania so we can't push into there the livonians they don't have any allies my truce with them is gonna expire real soon i need to spy on them all right truce with the livonians just expired still no allies i gotta declare on them immediately all right two more provinces not bad man and we've beaten them up very easily all right those two provinces are mine all right denmark declared on sweden because sweden actually doesn't have any allies they just uh let them go i guess i'll accept Actually, man, expanding into Novgorod wouldn't be a bad idea. They're not strong at all. They just lost to Muscovy, right? And they're losing to Sweden or fighting Sweden. All right, well, Denmark got Sweden back. Of course, they're super disloyal, but yeah, they got Sweden back. And Muscovy declared on the on Novgorod once again. As soon as I get my spine work up, I'll declare on them again. If I can nab like these provinces over here, I'll be satisfied. Look at this, man. Poland's ready to jump right in, too. First idea group time, we really gotta get a bigger army somehow. I am gonna go with Divine, Death Discount. Nah, Divine's kinda mad. Let's go Quantity. Yep, they warned me. Now what? Not a good game at all so far, man. It's like, I might as well declare on Latgalia right here. Jesus Christ, are you guys seeing this, man? There's literally no one I can fight. Poland declared on a two taunts. Uh, maybe I can take advantage of this. Let's call in everyone to make this quick. All right, nice. I stepped into these three provinces before Poland. They can only get this one. Now, wait a minute here. What's their capital? Something I did forget to mention is I did ally Austria. If I vassalize the Teutons, my boys will come in to help me with Poland. And that's already the guys I'm fighting with. Plus Austria, how strong is Austria? Can me and these guys and Austria, which doesn't have Hungary, by the way, beat Poland and Lithuania? It's gonna be tight, but this could be possible, man. Hmm. You know what, man? As scary as this sounds, this is probably the only way for us to fight Poland without fighting Muscovy. Or wait, they're not I like the Muscovy anymore. Hmm. Yeah, Austria wouldn't help in a regular way. We gotta do it like this. Oh my god. I'm so not confident in this, but there we go. Let's vassalize our former overlord. Lots of a let's take their money. Now I'm on a defensive war with Poland. And there's Bohemia, there's Austria. Palatinate, Köln, Brunswick. And that's everyone? We do have more troops. Let's try and do this. We're actually not doing too bad here, man. I did get stack wiped once. <laughs> 
But uh, Austria and Bohemia are really pulling weight here, man. We've occupied a bunch of provinces, unoccupied the Teutons. We are starting to beat them in battles as well. They're low on manpower. Austria is good on manpower. They can never run out. Of course, they're the emperor. But uh, yeah, everyone else is suffering quite heavily. But, you know, I think Austria should help us pull this through. I think this was a good decision. Let's see. All right, man. We've completely crushed Poland Lithuania. This was a good decision, even though I've suffered financially quite heavily from this. But now we can go ahead and piece them out. Uh, this was a defensive war, so no one will be mad if I don't give them stuff or anything, even though lots of this is occupied by Bohemia, which uh, apparently wants all of Poland. But what I'm most interested right here, man, is I think these Baltic provinces in Lithuania, are they high dev? They aren't that high dev. I think it'll be better for us to take a little Poland right here. Although, you know, none of these are good trade goods. So yeah, what I think I'm going to do is this right here. And can I do this? You know, that's not bad at all. Ah, uh, that all goes to me. Why is this so little aggressive expansion? Because I have claims on it? What? Huh. You know what? I am going to do something like this, man. Take all of this and then get war reps as well. And uh, that's a major W over Poland. Sweet, man. I'm feeling really powerful. And uh, my hope for this game has just shot up significantly. All right, but... Uh... I don't think Poland will be a problem anymore, man. Now they're fighting Hungary too. Hungary just declared on them with the help of who? Ah, maybe Hungary can win this too. But uh, yeah, not that we can fight anyone else. A is high. We'll probably have to fight Poland again. Maybe we can fight like some of these smaller guys right here. Probably not Denmark. But yeah, let's get everything in order. I have literally no idea how you get that thing. Still, still no progress right there, man. I was so hyped about this mission tree, but we've only done one mission. Poland did lose to Hungary. That's nice. Wait, I think I'm gonna go with the cheaper advisors for tier 3 right here. Alright, let's get some buildings going because we've been poor so far, man. We do have a bunch of centers of trade, so let's put uh, some down there. Memel too. Let's get some workshops going as well. Alright, this isn't bad. Yeah, nice alliance network. You know, even though Danzig gets released like uh, scriptedly, I think this, they might be like the strongest releasable nation in the game, man. Honestly, because, uh, you know, if you do it like this, like I'm doing it right now in uh, releasables, ideas are really good for trading. You can form Prussia. You you can have this massive Teutonic mission tree. Yeah, probably the most uh, flavorful releasable nation, yeah. All right, so I just got to pop up the Hawkmeister of the Teutons wishes to join the HRE, but there's no incident. Can it, like, not happen if they're a vassal or something? It's not me, right? I can finally take this mission, a stable government. We gain some uh, nice stuff that I was just doing. Great. All right, finally, I'm in tech seven. I do need to make money here. I'm going to go with trade. And yeah, right now, I'm just waiting for the truce with Poland and Lithuania to expire so I can fight them again. Hopefully, if someone helps us, right? Yeah, Muscovy should be able to help us. All right, with just them, we can definitely beat them. And then we need to annex the Teutons, right? Our dev right now is 177. We do need to grow quite bigger. Yeah. But yeah, even though it was a pretty difficult start, uh, things are really starting to, you know, get rolling right now. All right, opinion with the Teutons is up. I am going to go ahead and give the nobles the nobility integration policy and annex these guys. And there we go. We've annexed the Teutons. Now we can take the mission to secure Prussia, morale, and CCR and expand it to Poland. Lots of points and power projection as well. I wonder if now I'll get that event. Hmm. All right, but uh, now that our truce with Poland has expired and we have annexed the Teutons, still no event, by the way, where we get to choose an option, uh, we can go ahead and declare on Poland. Uh, Austria won't help, but Bohemia and Muscovy will, which is important. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and declare for this. And in fact, first, I'm going to set provinces of interest over here because uh, this is pretty much what I want. Yeah, I guess not that down there, but uh, maybe something up here. Sure, why not? And let's go ahead and declare for that province. And away we go. All right, man. War with Poland and Lithuania is done right here. I'm pretty much maxed out on admin points. So let's go ahead and peace out. And I think I can take everything that I wanted. Let's go ahead and see. So I do want this area. It is pretty expensive. What about this right here? What do I have claims on? I don't have claims on anything, man. And uh, well, I think that's that. I'm not going to take warps or anything like that because I do want to fight them again. They're pretty much the only nation we're fighting right now. There's no point to push into the HRE. So uh, yeah, there we go. That's that. And uh, even though war exhaustion is super high and this is going to be super expensive, I am going to core that up because I have way more admin points than I need. And I'm using Diplo for... Uh, trade ideas all right our dev right now 265 we do need to grow quite a bit bigger but i'm liking the way things are looking uh let's go ahead and delete that fort right there yeah i wish i could unlock these missions i bet we get a bunch of claims from this man i don't know why it's not happening i don't know how to trigger that like event i guess danzig can't use this mission tree i have no idea literally no idea dude tier four right here seems to be the same as monarchies so i'm gonna go with this no way dude hungary pewed poland lithuania that's not something i expected at all man 
Good thing they're not allied to Austria. We could probably fight them. All right, so after building uh, workshops in every single province in East Prussia and West Prussia and bumping all of these provinces up three times, except for Danzig and Konigsberg, which I did do that like way earlier in the game, we can take the mission Develop Prussia where we lose autonomy in both Prussia areas, gain 100 prosperity and some really, really nice uh, production tax and manpower bonuses. So there we go. That's really nice. Reform the state, level 7, Gov reform progress yeah i wonder what this branch deals with what i really want is this but i could fight denmark everyone would help yeah i think i'm gonna do just that to take these like um uh, yeah pretty much these provinces over here so let's go ahead and declare on denmark for the conquest of uh Latgalia and call in everyone there are like a bunch of hre miners but uh it should be easy to deal with yeah and this way we don't have to wait around uh for our troops with poland to expire to fight them and hungary and lithuania and naples and the saxony apparently all right Ah, colonialism has appeared in what? I guess we got cardinal spread institutions? Yeah, or, or no, wait. Oh yeah. All right, since the only thing I want is this and war reps and they will already give that to me, I feel like I'm gonna peace out because, uh, well, there's no need to drag this on for any longer than we need to. So that's our war with Denmark done, man. A couple of more provinces right here. These aren't, actually, you know what? These are all decent dev provinces, man. Not bad. All right, let's core that up, chill for a bit. Our truce with Poland is up. And let's see, if we want to declare on Hungary, almost everyone except for Austria would join. If we want to declare on Poland, Austria would join, but Muscovy wouldn't. Yeah, if we declare directly on Hungary, we would have more troops. Thanks to Muscovy, right? Mainly. Bohemia is pretty strong too, but let's wait a bit. These guys are pretty tired. I've been tracking them into so many wars. I wonder if this will make Austria change their attitude towards Hungary. So, ask to prepare for war. And uh, I just lost a bunch of money to a papal event. But uh, let's make them reduce their opinion of uh, Hungary. There we go. Yeah, they still wouldn't join. All right. All right, I just got new burger loans. We can embrace colonialism, and I think we can start a golden era. I did just complete three objectives. I did just bump up Raval up to level two. Yeah, there we go. Now it's available. Finally. All right, uh, plus 40% goods produced because I do have the production quota act. Uh, there it is. I completed uh, quantity and trade, so that's some really nice money right there. Before I finished trade and before I entered my golden era, I was making nine ducats a month. Now we're up to 25. Sweet. Uh, can I lower autonomy as well? Yes, in a lot of provinces. All right, we're probably going to make like 30 after this well 26 but close enough either way man we do gotta get a move on here my truce with poland is expired ae isn't too bad honestly we could even fight brandenburg here man although you know that's just a needless a so let's see if we declare on poland this time muscovy doesn't join right that's 71 14 13 and if we declare on hungary it's uh 76 23 18 not too much of a difference honestly man is austria or is muscovy more powerful muscovy is kind of more powerful huh yeah i wonder you know we are going to be taking more stuff from poland so i think i'm gonna do this man yeah I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to declare for Krakow, try and take these two provinces, these two, and then this one from Hungary as well. These are all really highly dabbed. Yeah, I think this is what we should go with here, man. There we go. War started. Uh, I am going to get pretty involved in this. Well, there's Koln too, I guess. And there's Muscovy. Did I not call these guys in? What's going on? I guess stuff changed when... Um lithuania got involved it got closer to muscovy or something like that but yeah oh uh, that's great everyone joined all right let me go and peace out saxony and then we'll take as much as we can from these guys we're pretty close to the great powers list and we already got colonialism meanwhile one thing i'm not satisfied with in this game is our tech man <laughs> usually i'm on top of the tech game right i'm always like super ahead and stuff like that but uh because our rulers change so quickly and because most of them suck our uh, tech hasn't really been that good even though we haven't been conquering that much I'm mostly swimming in admin points, man. And I'm not even focusing on anything, dog. But yeah, weak tech game this campaign for sure. And let's see that, uh, let's see that, uh, what you call it, monastic order missionary strength, uh, which apparently isn't that good at all. Alrighty then. All right, there's Saxony out, bunch of money and war ups from them. I think... I think I should go and peace out Naples here next, man. These guys are doing the works right here. Everything I want is claimed by me, so they'll transfer everything. Yeah, I'm just going to go down to Naples. Time for the Danzigians to learn about pizza. Or is it Danzigers? Danzigians? I don't know. I think that's Naples out. Yeah, it is. Austria is really suffering here. We got to go and help them out. Oh, no, I'm Black Flag. Huh. Third idea group time? Um, well, what policies does Divine have? None. Trade efficiency and improve relations offensive. Defensive? Are we really going to be fighting that much many, that much more wars? Yeah, and I'm sort of behind on Miltech too. You know what? I'm going to go economic here. Tier 5 go reform time and I think Austria is going to get pieced out here. What's this? Oh, we can become a monastic brewery. That's even more goods produced. Yeah, this one's good for the army, divine nobility. And this one will help us out too, but come on. When we can brew wine, 
and beer. Let's do it. And that's, uh, I think, plus 50% goods produced in 1517. Let me check and see. Oh, no, it's 40. Right, 40. Yeah, Austria did get pieced out. It's just war reps were still allied, right? Yeah. Honestly, man, I did not expect for this war to be so difficult. Or not difficult. It's not really difficult. It's just, uh, it's taking us so long to fight these guys, and they're actually pretty competent. And there we go. The yearly inflation and trade efficiency guy have paid off. Awesome. And yeah, I think as soon as I bomb pass right here, we should be good. I'm actually not going to take this because I do need 265 admin points to clear this up. 84 AE, by the way. What should know about aggressive expansion, fool? And yeah, they will give us these provinces that I want, right? That's everything I... No, actually, I want this too. I want this too, right? And they won't give that to us? Yeah, we need to keep going. Those are the provinces I want. I also got no manpower here. Luckily, I can slack in once. If I recruit a general, I can slack in another time. That's actually not bad. All right, now they'll give me everything that I want. Maybe war apps too. No war apps, but we will get 400 ducats. Sweet, man. Sweet. These are really nice provinces. 7 dev, 27 dev, 14, 8, 9, 17. Are we at a risk of a coalition? No, not really. I'm just hungry. Pull on Lithuania are mad. Easy, baby. Easy. You know what it is. Boom. Right now, I'm just helping out Magdeburg, or no, helping out Brunswick fight these guys, which isn't a problem at all. Let's just go beat them up. But the Protestant Reformation did spawn, and it is looking pretty powerful, man. Nothing of mine is being converted, but uh, yeah, one spawned in uh, Bohemia. We got one over in Holland, and one, funnily enough, in Great Britain. But yeah, that's... Uh, that's all I have to say about that. Now, the Ottomans are about to do some work. <laughs> Strong Ottomans right here. Oh, and by the way, what do you guys think of the new dev diary that uh, dropped for the Ottomans? For me, it released yesterday. For you, it'll be like probably a week or two ago. Maybe there'll even be a new dev diary by the time you see this. But what do you think about the buffs that are coming to the Ottomans and the nerfs too? Of course, uh, I think it'll be very, very exciting. I've been waiting for these guys to get updated for so long, man. And uh, they're about to be... Not only the most powerful nation in the hands of the player, but probably the most fun too. I'm not gonna lie. And just as the Age of Reformation has begun, the great nation of Danzig, a prince in the HRE, has found itself on the great powers list with colonialism embraced and with someone with colonialism below us, which is Denmark. Just a couple of months ago, it was Portugal. So there's two nations below us. And with that, we have accomplished our primary goal of becoming a great power with colonialism embraced with someone with colonialism below us after previously accomplishing our secondary goal of making our former overlord not exist. In this case, the Teutonic Order after we vassalized them and annexed them. But yeah, there you go, man. Overall, a very, very fun campaign. It was a pretty difficult start with all the warnings and nowhere to expand and stuff like that. Luckily, we did get Denmark and Poland to support our independence. We ended our alliance with Poland pretty quickly after that but uh we did manage to find some other strong allies which helped us expand didn't push into the hre at all man fought the livonians fought Latgalia, fought denmark and fought poland and hungary a couple of times too and this is the size of our nation right now man went quantity trade one idea unlocked from economic we got the production quota act and we became a brewery as well which is enabling us to have plus 40 percent goods produced this early in the game which is insane really really strong and with that we're making 38 ducats a month that's what a bunch of forts up and armies up if i lower maintenance and turn off forts we're making 46 ducats a month and with a couple of fleets protecting trade in lubeck and the baltic sea man we could honestly bump this up to 60 build even more production buildings in these super high value trade good problems says that we have that we haven't built them in yet but these setters of trade up to level two and with economic and later quality too dude money making opportunities are insane with danzig the only thing i'm really sad about this campaign is that we didn't manage to unlock these branches i don't know how you do this uh i think it's the event that the teutons get maybe this is a different tree maybe it's not the teutonic tree maybe it's a unique danzig one but yeah i don't know how to do this maybe we need to form prussia to unlock this but uh yeah if you know let me know in the comments how do you unlock these branching mission trees man of course this is releasables so we can't form prussia even though uh you know i could flip to protestant and do it immediately in fact since the campaign is over i am gonna do that right now uh there we go let's go ahead and flip to protestant and uh reform into prussia and see if this is how we unlock those mission trees of course now we're a militaristic divine state that's pretty awesome but uh yeah still no event for these mission trees so i guess this isn't how you do it but of course since the campaign is over i formed prussia otherwise i wouldn't have done it but um yeah man i think danzig is probably one of the most fun releasable nations you can do in the game uh obviously an amazing mission tree right here the only other releasable nation with a mission tree is like bulgaria or finland or something like that so i definitely recommend that you guys give danzig a shot in 1444 even though of course later around the 1450s they do pop out of the teutonic order but yeah super super fun campaign 
Man, and uh, I'm glad we got to fail as Soyo and to roll Danzig on the wheel. And of course, next time I'll be back with Soyo if I can get them started. But if not, we're going to spin the wheel. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Danzig in releasables has been a success. And that has been Danzig in releasables. Now let's spin the wheel and see which nation we're going to play next time if I still can't get Soyo off the ground. And as for the Ming releasables, I'm waiting for the 14035 update where they get mission trees and maybe we'll do something with them then. But yeah, let's spin now. All right, all right, here we are in the wheel of releasable nations and I'm hoping to play Soyo next time. But if not, let's see who we're going to get. You know, I wouldn't mind going back to Europe or something like that. Maybe somewhere in the British Isles or something like that. But next time we're going to have to play Champasak. I don't even know who that is. Pain. Yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should do as Champasak next time to make my overlord not exist and become a great power, if it's not Soyo. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Red Hawk Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.